Hey everyone, time for a quick impromptu video about the future of League's lore and its connections to Arcane, the world of Runeterra, Legends of Runeterra, and probably the future Riot MMO. Now, I don't usually make quick, short videos like this, but I wanted to go over some news that is, well, literally developing as I say this over on Reddit, and the massive implications coming from this discussion. Only a few hours ago, Riot Games put out a new video regarding the lore of League's champions, new game modes, and a lot more, really. Now, there is a ton of great little snippets regarding League and its future, so I fully recommend checking it out if you're interested in League at all. But there are a few things that stood out to me. A, as a Riot MMO creator, and B, as a fan of the Runeterra lore, whether it's comics, just books, arcane, and really anything that's in Runeterra. So when Riot Medler, the League studio head, took to Reddit to discuss the new League dev diary and the future of how Riot plans to handle the lore, I found it very intriguing as he started to speak beyond just League's champion's lore and instead start to discuss Riot's plans to potentially connect everything together using a more coordinated and cohesive manner than they had done previously. One response on Reddit stated, Hopefully all this talk about lore means they are establishing a central lore team, so the lore won't be left in the hand of the skins team again. For a little context here, Riot has honestly done a piss poor job communicating lore between their different teams and projects and is oftentimes made up on the spot almost, depending on, I guess, however any given team may have felt that day, oftentimes leaving massive fractures, holes, and just retcons. So to this, Riot Medler responded by saying, we're figuring out how to have all the different teams across different games and non-game stuff like Arcane work on the lore in a coordinated and cohesive manner, not centralizing all decisions though. We also want to make sure many people making creative decisions are on the game slash product teams themselves and in touch with what matters to players for those games. He went on to say, we want to get to a state where Arcane League of Legends, Legends of Ruterra, etc., maybe the Riot MMO, are all clearly building in the same canon, so that that's not even a question that needs to be asked or point of confusion. He finished off by adding this, I'm very excited about this too. I think long term it'll be great. It does mean some slowdown right now as we get stuff figured out, however. And yeah, we'll also still have some degree of adaptation to any given medium, of course. There's a lot of stuff that's just part of gameplay or just meme fun that can and should diverge. I don't think anyone's getting confused over whether Yasuo's dying 10 times in 15 minutes in a league match is canon or not, for example. Now, I'll leave it for you guys to discuss or probably more accurately argue about in the comments, but one issue for me personally has always been that there is such an area of contention regarding all Runeterra lore and that nothing really feels solidified as canon, and really everything just feels kind of open for future potential retcons. Not to mention the fact that when we start talking about Arcane, or other stories and how that may affect the future Riot MMO, every single fedora-wearing Discord mod comes barreling in to spam Arcane isn't canon in my comments. Now I get it, it's not technically canon, but I think we can use our brains and realize that there is a connection and that Jinx as a character is in all of the different games and stories. That said though, obviously everything is not canon and probably never will be, at least the stuff in the past. There are far too many diverging storylines at this point in time but it doesn't take a rocket surgeon to be able to see that there are many connections between something as simple as hex gates and how they are used that can be used at the very least as inspiration for the Riot MMO and beyond. And as we do go beyond with the inclusion of a centralized lore team, I think we can look forward to a world where basic storylines like Arcane will be connected, active, and all a part of the canon moving into the future, which for many of us will probably be the best news we get this year. As always, I want to turn the discussion back over to you guys. What do you think the impact of this will mean for the future of Runeterra, the future Riot MMO, and beyond? As always, if you'd like to continue this discussion at a greater length than just the comments can provide, please make sure you hop on over to our community Discord, where honestly, these days, the discussion is continuing 24-7 and gets a little heated sometimes, so it's really good fun, so come on by. There's your quick little evening update. As always, my name is Spun. I will see you all in the next video. Peace!